Hey everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Couple. We hope you had an awesome weekend and we are super excited for today's video. It's going to be some really high-end Dollar Tree DIYs inspired by things that we've seen from stores like Anthropology. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments which one's your favorite. For this project, we're going to be creating some really high-end kind of boho modern vase and plate decor there's a lot of different variants that you can do with this style and we're going to be using some white waverly chalk paint and some of this baking powder to create a really thick kind of creamy paint and you can add more or um, not as much depending on what kind of texture you want so if you want a really kind of gritty texture definitely add in more and then you can also paint on here what I decided to do is put on some gloves and just kind of rub it on here. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a first coat or layer down with just a white chalk paint and then add some texture. But essentially what we're trying to do here is create some more organic type textures. And we're gonna do that with the paint and the baking powder. So there's a few different ways that you could paint these and you could add some really cool texture just by dabbing on some of this paint. I did one of these by dabbing it and then by doing a horizontal stroke. You could also do vertical strokes. It just kind of depends on the texture that you want. This is a little bit lighter and then I actually go in with some heavier paint that has more of that baking powder in it and I'm going to do some horizontal strokes on it and it gives it a really organic feel so we're kind of going for like a pottery a natural pottery feel here some clay or even if you wanted to do this and then paint it you could maybe even pull it off to look like stone or concrete so it just kind of depends on how you want to do it um, one of the vases i did kind of the dabbing and then for this bowl and then the other vase i used a really thick kind of creamy gritty paint uh, baking powder mixture and then I just did the horizontal strokes on those and I think they turned out really really pretty and even as it dried there's a little bit of cracking but I think that just adds even more character to this project. So on this one there's a lot of texture and if you don't like that much you could go through with a fine sandpaper and sand some of that off to make it a little bit smoother and we finally found the ribbon from Dollar Tree that is faux leather so we we're super excited about that. We found white, black and then a brown color and we're going to use those by cutting some strips and then making some handles for these vases. So I just cut one piece and then used that as a template, held it up to my ribbon and then cut a second piece so that they were the same length. And then I'm gonna eyeball where I want these to be. You could place these however you want on your vases. But for this one, I'm going to go from front to back. And then here in just a moment, I'm gonna show you on the second vase, we're actually going to glue them down vertically. So they're gonna go from the top to the more towards the bottom of the vase and loop up and then back down. So you can create these handles and place them on your vases in multiple different ways to give different looks on these. So this is where I was talking, we're gonna go up and down to so a vertical position. And this one I cut a little bit longer. We're gonna put some glue on the outside glue that down and then that's just going to come up loop around and then we'll glue that down towards the middle of our vase and then just do that on the other side you could also if you wanted to actually just do it on one side i think both ways would look really pretty And of course, when you do your projects, we hope that we're just giving you guys inspiration and then you can go and create how you want. If you would like, you can definitely recreate exactly how we're doing it. But we understand everyone has their own different decorating styles. So with this, if you wanted to do like rope handles or metal, there's so many different options. We just wanna give you guys some ideas so then you can go and create your own. Now to add some little rivets for these, I'm just using some of these little um, stickers and I'm going to paint those black and then we will apply those in just a minute. 
And right here on the bowl, I'm just adding a second coat and going to add some more texture on there. I would probably go through, it may be a little bit easier if you just paint this and give it one good quick coat of paint, it'll dry faster and then you can go in and add the texture. And then right here, are, we're gonna place those rivets with those uh, stickers. So for these rivets, I don't think that you have to have them on here, but I think that it definitely adds more of a high-end quality and realism to the project. Cause we're actually showing how these are connected versus them just glued on there. And I really, really like how much more character and high-end look that that gives to the project. And then of course, these are all connected by a little string here. So what you want to do is just go ahead and cut the excess off there. All we want to use is this single little dot. So try and remove as much of that extra little sticky string as you can. And then that will give you the best result. And finally for the bowl, we're going to do the same thing that we did on the first base. And we're just going to glue this from front to back. And I again, just eyeball the position on this and then we're gonna glue that down and then go ahead and add our rivets once that's complete. And that's really all there is on these projects. They're really not difficult. Can kind of get a little bit messy with the paint and baking powder, but a fairly simple project to do. Doesn't take a lot of time or effort. And we've really, really enjoyed doing some of these kind of high-end, modern, and boho designs. As much as we love them, we want to make sure that we're creating what you guys want to see. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, let us know. If you would like to see other types of decor, let us know as well in the comments. We're always trying to do something different, something new, changing it up and giving everyone some different ideas that they can incorporate in their own home and design. So let us know in the comments what you guys want to see for 2021 and if you guys are enjoying these videos. For this project, I grabbed one of these $5 mirrors that I found in the Target dollar spot. And then also this, it's the larger size wreath form from a Dollar Tree. Since my mirror is a little bit bigger, I'm going to be cutting out the inner circle. Once that was cut, I'm just grabbing this nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I will be unraveling the whole entire thing. And this is the longer, I believe it's the 11 foot rope. Once that is unraveled, you will have three separate ropes. And right here, I am just wrapping it around to see about how long I want each piece to be. After I found a good length, I just started cutting them out and then putting them around the very outer circle. You will want to get them as close to the same size as you can, but if they are a little bit off, it is okay since we will be going through and brushing it out and cutting them all to the same size. This is how far one rope got me, so I'm going to be opening a second pack of the 11 foot rope and untwisting it and doing the same exact thing. Once you have finished the whole outside edge, move into the very inner circle, not the middle one, and do the same thing all the way around. To finish the whole entire thing, it took me three packages of the Dollar Tree ropes. Now that this part is done, I'm going in with a cat brush that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be brushing out all of the rope.
Then once it is all brushed out, I just went in with some scissors and cut all the way around just to make sure it was even. Once the outer layer is done, go ahead and flip the inner circle back out and brush that completely out. Then I just did the same thing as before. I just cut the inner circle so that it was all the same length. Once that was all cut, I used just a clear matte spray paint to seal it all together so that they stand straight out and they don't fold over when you hang it up. Now it's time to add the mirror. So I flipped the whole thing over and I'm going to be running hot glue along the whole entire middle and then placing the mirror on top. To hang it, it fits perfectly on the very outer ring. So just put a nail and you can hook it right on. For this project, we're going to need three of these 11 foot nautical ropes from Dollar Tree. Now, if you would like to cover the outside and the inside of this bucket, you'll probably need, I would say five. And the first thing that we want to do is just go ahead and unravel these so that we have three separate strings from each one of these ropes. And then we're going to start gluing these on the bucket starting at the bottom. So the first thing that we want to do is take one of our strands and start gluing that around the bottom of this bucket. You'll want to glue it all the way around and then each line after that doesn't necessarily have to have glued the entire way. The bottom part is important though so that all of the strands above it can kind of put pressure on that and it's not going to come undone because it's glued. So right here is that seam. We're just going to glue up to that seam and then start our second row and then like I said, each row here on out, you can kind of glue a little bit, hold it down, and then you can wrap it around a little bit and then glue it. You don't have to glue all the way around the bucket. And then when I do these projects, I like to make sure that all of my seams are in the back. So wherever you started that first rope, you wanna make that the back side of your bucket. As you can see here, I cut it and I try to align those so that all of those seams are gonna be in the back. So that when you position this um, for your decor, it's gonna be a little bit rough on the back, but you can always position it so the front looks really good and clean. As you can see, there's no strings sticking out or seams on the front there. Now, once we've wrapped it all the way around and we get to these little holes where the handles are, we're going to go ahead and pull it through and then glue it down and glue it just on the inside there to kind of cover up the top of that uh, plastic part and the inner part of this bucket. And then we're going to bring it back outside and then continue wrapping it around the outside of the bucket. Once we pull that strand back out, we're gonna put just a little bit of glue on the inside to hold it down and then wrap it around to the other side and do the same exact thing that we just did here. You wanna pull the strand inside and then kind of cover up that little lip and then bring it back outside so that we can continue going around the bucket. And for these holes, what I did is I took one of these strands and I'm gonna start on the inside of the bucket here and glue it up to the hole and then I'm gonna pull this strand out through that hole and then we're gonna wrap it back around itself and then we'll do that a few times to cover up the inside of this handle as you can see it's gonna start filling in that gap there and then we'll glue this to the other side where the other hole is then we'll pull it inside the bucket and then come back around this and just do that a few times until we've completely covered up that plastic where those holes are. And then once we have all of that covered up, 
you can see that is going to take care of that gap there and then we've actually got a little bit of the rope on the inside of our bucket so i'm just going to take the rest that i have here and continue going along the inside for this project i'm going to put a little bit of the rope just a little ways down on the inside so that if you have like a plant or something in here it's going to cover up the remaining plastic at the bottom but that top lip is going to have rope so it's going to give the illusion that it's rope all the way down like i said earlier if you want to use this more like a storage and you want it all the way covered in rope you'll probably need two more packs of that 11 foot rope now for the other gap uh, where the hole is i'm going to just continue on the outside where my last strand left off glue it while on that seam and then i'm going to pull it in here and then just do the same exact thing that i did on the other side um, just wrap it around that gap a few times and then the last part here once those holes are all covered with rope is just to finish wrapping this all the way around the top here to cover up that last little part of the bucket that's plastic now as you can see everything's covered it looks really simple really pretty and i had a little bit extra so what i can do here is just continue running that rope all the way down or as far as it'll go now the last part here is to add some handles this is just a purse that we found from the thrift store and i cut a couple squares of that faux leather out and then i'm going to wrap that around those gaps there and give it a really polished high-end look with these leather handles and we have that ribbon leather but i don't think that would look very good wrapping this around the handle so i went with a, just a bigger square here and i also think recently if i remember right we saw a post on facebook where dollar tree now carries some faux leather straps that are bigger so if you can find that that would probably work perfect for this project as well now if you wanted to you could definitely stop here i think it looks really pretty just as is but i wanted to try and go a little bit further and add some more character to this so Either way, if you want to keep going and do what I do here, you can definitely do that or you can stop. But all I'm doing is using some black paint. This is ink chalk paint from Waverly and I watered it down. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint starting at the top each strand of rope. And as I'm working my way down, I'm going to make each line a little bit smaller so that it tapers in towards the middle. And then it's going to go back out and create kind of an hourglass shape. I really did like watering this down. You don't have to, but watering it down it kind of almost just stained the rope instead of a heavy paint because sometimes when you paint fabric, it gets really stiff and hard. But I found by watering it down, it kept it really, it was a little bit more stiff, but it was still quite soft to the touch. So I think that that added a lot more, I guess I have a high end quality to the project. You don't have to do that, but I really enjoyed how it turned out. Now, once we start getting down here, you don't have to use a, a really little brush. I went in with a bigger brush, again, water down black paint, and then you can just fill in those gaps there. That's gonna save you a lot of time versus trying to paint each section with just a small brush. But as you're going down with those, uh, I guess, steps, you will want to use a smaller brush so that you can stay on the individual strands of rope. And that's about halfway. So I found by measuring it, it's about four and a quarter. Um, and it actually worked out pretty well. Like I said, up until that point, I hadn't really done any measurements, but that's really all there is to this project. And I think it looks very high end, something you could definitely find in anthropology. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you wanna see more of these high-end Dollar Tree DIYs, make sure to check out our playlist. You can click through right here and check out all of those other high-end projects. But as always, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.